Hello world, this is JWP, J Ward Primo Beats, coming to you live from my bedroom. Check me out on YouTube at JWPTube, Twitch, JWP Stream, Facebook, JWP Meta, Patreon, JWP Patreon, and Discord, link in description. I will be looking at state variable filter calculations in Synthedit, and to better describe what this is, I better better to just demonstrate. So <clears throat> before I did have a bunch of state variable filters in serial to create a notch. However, I noticed that there's a bump. Well, I noticed in the beginning that there's a bump. However, in this case, I want to, I ignored it last time. I didn't think it would be so bad. However, it is prevalent in a build that these bumps are increasing the frequency around the they're incre increasing the frequency gain around this center so i'm going to go through them and as i imagine the bump increases with each each stage so there must be a number where it steps down or up So, go ahead and fire this up. It looks like I have to switch over to all the impulses there. Okay, and I want to Disconnect this and reconnect it here so I get these numbers opposed to just um <clears throat> get these numbers opposed to just the same thing over and over. So here we can see we got the bump, right? So let's try twelve, perhaps eleven points away. So we'll take it from five, five and subtract. 0.12 and 488. We'll see what 488 gives us. And it seems like we lost the signal. So let's just go back and forth here. I'm not sure why. I suddenly lost the signal. Looks like this is just a dangling module. Hmm. It's really strange. Why does it disappear sometimes? I wonder. It was just working. So it's sending. I don't know what's going on. Resonance to resonance to resonance. It looks kind of cramped. It's spaced a little bit. Switch it back to five and see what happens. I doubt that it can only take whole numbers. Doesn't make sense that it would. Let's move this over here. Let's move this over here. Let's move this down. I still got a major bump there. So let's try 488. That doesn't change anything. Let's try this one for 88. Why does it disappear? 4.5. Okay, so 488 even even not great. Uh, eight. Maybe it's creating a the normal. I doubt it though. So let's try three. Three it doesn't look three at all. 3.5. And that's looking a little more 
consistent. Let's try 3.75. Of course, it disappears. Perhaps maybe it's too. Um, this isn't moving fast enough. It needs to be zero. Let's see, nothing. Try 1.1. Actually, I want to copy that number first. Nothing. Two. Okay, there we go. We're getting a little over here. 2.5. Hmm. So as I know it, well, 1.1 is six cycle. If we go converter, and new converter, we go hertz to octave, right? And we bring in a voltmeter. We say this is six cycles. We'll get our one, right? Negative 1.964. Six hertz to octave. Okay, so we'll see what this does. Maybe this will give us a better reading. Otherwise, I gotta go dig out the old one again. Yeah, it looks like I'm digging out the old one. That's right, though. So what was it on my other build? <clears throat> it is 1.12553. What does that mean? Rather, what is that? Of course, I can <clears throat> take it backwards. Move backwards. And we'll go to octave to hertz. It's to be hertz, hertz to octave. No, it'll be octave to hertz, right? Because we're Going backwards, okay. Why is that now six? That's 30. 30 frames per second. Wow. Okay, oops. Get that notch out of there. Node, rather. Um, and that's six. Let's try 30 again, I don't think it's going to have very much effect. I'm not getting a reading here. Perhaps it has something to do with the. No, that doesn't matter. Trigger. Stink. Okay, so what do I have in there? I got six, right? Six. That's 30. I want six. So let's flip this around. We'll go hertz to octave and we'll go six. Put this in. I don't know why it's not responding though. It's really weird. It's going through there properly. So it 
for resonance. It's just being picky. So let's go with 3.5. 3.5. Right. Let's get this in a bigger aspect here because I really want to zero in on this. Uh, See, we're still getting a little bit of a bump. Okay, so let's try. Let's bring this over as well. We'll bring all the tools I need, sort of thing. 4.88, it's 3.5, it's just not loading that. So let's check with 3.3, which is probably not going to work because it's not yet. I don't know what's making it do that. Two five. Still getting tiny bump there. There should be a coefficient for this. Um, the name doesn't really matter. Let's go three point two, especially since it's not updating. Three point one and three. Nothing. 2.5. Okay, so we have less of a coefficient now. Is that what we really want though? Is less? What's a zero look like? Nothing? No. Um, and our center is a K. It's got five. Right, our center is a K. A thousand. And it seems to be lifting here. Can I, instead of doing that, use the slider? Okay. So instead of using that, use the slider, however, have 12 sliders. Just trying to figure out what to do here. Let's go with 12 sliders. And they don't need their readout. And what I can do is put a container then we'll have an output and we'll put them horizontally. So one no, I want the other back on. Okay. And then two and two makes two, and then um, we can actually go this way. One and two. Oh yeah, because I gotta set their range to. Hmm. So I guess it'd just be easier to use one slider, and then just mark down the value. Let's bring this as well over here. We'll I'll zero those out. It's going to do some fancy mouse work. Just zero everything out for now. Okay. And then we'll plug in the slider as a code sort of thing. And again, of course, that's not going to be much help as far as 
that. Actually, no, that's um, fine. That's low of, ze low of zero, high of, let's see, 3.5, I guess. And should we start responding now? It's interesting how it kicks out for certain values. Little concerning. I mean, it's still filtering, right? Yeah, it's still filtering. Um, let's go. I think this is the six, right? No, it's thirty. There's thirty higher. Let's go with thirty instead. You converter. That's the volts. Uh, thirty. And display. 1.126, three, put that in here. This is in fact a square, right? Not a strange, looks like a square. It's like 2.5 or three, I think. Yeah, that's a square, okay. Opposed to say that, yeah. So zero, and that. Okay. Do we have more or less responsiveness now? It appears to be more. Okay, let's bring this up. It actually looks like we're starting to uh, rise a little bit. So we're obviously somewhere between three. Let's try 2.5 to 3.5 to 3, 3.5 to 3.25. We're still peaking a little bit. Five, which I can see that. Looks like three might be the winner. Three point one. So, what's the coefficient here? Um, five. Plus 3.1 divided by 12 is what? Minus 12. 5 less 3.1 divided by 12. <clears throat> I'll just I'll just continue to do what I can here. So three point one, three point one. Okay, that's just because they're pairing up with each other. Is that even at? It's like it looks like the resonance isn't right. I mean, it's thousand would be five, right? So let's take a look at that. What's actually coming out of here? Six point one four, isn't that that's not a K, is it? Imagine five is supposed to be a K, isn't it? Um five. No. So it was right the first time. Or it was right, it's right here, it's fine. Octave, and then we're back up to OK. I'm curious to see what 24 looks like. Then again, that's lots of uh, unnecessary CPU load. Yeah. OK, 
to. So let's pull this out of here. And then to here, we'll go 11. Say three point two. Of course, we get no response. There it is. And we're still kind of getting a bit of a bow here. So three point one five. Um, what was this number? Five less three point one. Equals 1.9 divided by 12. Okay, and then we'll copy that number and we'll subtract it from 3.1. Why do we add it? We added it, I think. Okay, and that 3.25833. And no response from the graph. Does it look right? Actually, it doesn't. What does one look like? Let's plug in five here. So one kind of has a little bit of a bow. A bit of a bow, in fact. Let's look at that. <clears throat> let's just start there. Zero and zero. And hopefully, we'll get like a relative curve, a relative number in the end. So that's like peaking perfectly, eh? That's really interesting. There. So it's almost as if 3.1 is kind of the all around good number. Happens in a negative zone. So just flop. It doesn't just flop. <laughs> so we'll go three to three point one, two point five. We'll fiddle around with that. It's looking a little dead. We can see that it's sort of avoiding lifting off the line here. Let's get right in there. You don't really have to go that deadly, but it's interesting to see that it's in fact not right on a specific value. So 
always likes 3.1. 3.1 is kind of the magic number. So let's input 3.1 into all of them, and then we'll see kind of the difference. Let's start flipping through them here. Of course, can't see that. Let's bring it to the front. Okay. I'm actually getting a little bit of bowing now. tiniest bits kind of roll off do we have So it is quite unfortunate that I didn't patch in strength and mode. <clears throat> so I'm happy with that, I suppose. I'm going to actually patch in strength and mode, which require a list. It's going to take a few minutes. So it looks like 3.1 is pretty much the magic number. Okay. And then this should hold itself together. A tiny bit of bowing here and there. Where 3.1 looks like the working number. <clears throat> As far as introducing a multiplier times two multiplier selector for the end user, I'm not sure I want to take the time to integrate that. It's just mindless plugging here and out for a little while. Oh. I didn't even name these, so let's get them named. So some strength. I'll be
I am curious to see what a two time multiplier will do. Almost guaranteed it's going to be some more CPU greedy. All right, let's do a bit of error checking. It's good. <clears throat> and of course I can insert this box here. Or not, let's just yeah, connect to three different ones at once.
And we'll have the opportunity here to look at the stage. I'm going to save and we'll activate. Of course, it doesn't do anything because there's no. Oh, there would be a resonance. Mm. Stage 12. Still nothing. Okay, so let's fiddle with it a bit. Just for the sake of seeing what. This looks like we'll go value 0, low 0, enter. Insert to 12, I guess. Let's we'll see if we can get a response out of it. Yeah, there it is. So it cuts right at the... the K. There's a, quite a bit of a slope there. Butterworth are way better, but they don't work properly. Okay, so let's send us back to first stage, and then we'll get the mode running. Click save. Container. And again, we want a list entry on one end. through Two. Perhaps I can connect this as I go along as well. One, two, and three. Over. In fact, I want to see how much. I'll finish this first and then I'll look. And I remember um, choice. Shite. These are also supposed to be mode. Kind of halfway is done, it'll be faster just to do this. I wonder if I can repair the standard band pass by using state variable with the resonance. 
interesting idea. So that's done. I guess like when 3.1, right, that little bump adds up after a while. So when it's at 5, it's got a little bit of a bow. And as you stack 12 on each other, the bow increases, I imagine. Whereas 3 or 3.1 is sort of that magic number where the bow isn't magnified. <clears throat> whereas I thought it was a cumulative effect however it is is it is it, it is an it is an it is a accumulated effect however setting the initial value um takes away the bump to amplify Okay, so let's do an error check, save. <clears throat> Even though I did tracing, it's still pretty check.
All right. So let's complete. I now have the ability to look at different types of passes. But of course, it's not feeling like responding. I like how band reject and band pass work together. However, if I use them like that, um, I don't have the ability to control one side of the one side of the band. So I just want to look at Q here. There isn't one. What's on 12 or 11? All right. That's all done. I'll end this stream here and jump back into a sweet spot stream. All right, right. They're not quite ready yet. Um, it's the old ones. Let's go ahead and copy these over. Let's be slow pass. And let's be high pass. Let's try to get some of these things happening here. Okay. So I essentially don't need this because it's all the same. 3.1. And that'll eat memory if I keep that. This is the mode. Um, it's doing prep work now to get this out of here. Okay, so this can go, these can go, this can sit over here. And it doesn't need to be labeled, let's just quickly label this. And this can go, that can go. This is now 3.1. I can cut that there. So this is 3.1. I just want to double check that. Yep, it's fine. Okay, so what is this? Is this audio in? Let's go ahead and containerize that. And we'll cut this or we'll containerize this again. In there, rather, we cut it here and then delete this. And then we'll add a math coming in and then two votes. So we'll set this input. We'll put, we can delete this. In wires and input outputs and again zero ten wires and containers. Okay. okay, so we now have the input and we have the center. Let's cut this and put it here.
for this one. So we don't really need this one. However, it does have to be programmed eventually, so we'll program it here. Come on. This, this, this entry as well doesn't need to be here. Containerize that. And containerize it again. However, this time we'll cut this out. Cut that out. And get the switch happening here just for input. And then. Actually, this goes in here. Through and out and in. Just want to make sure I did that right. It looks right. Let's get rid of this. Uncontainerize that. One stage is fine. Resonance 3.1 center. Dealt with later list entry. Actually, this is what this is. What strength? Strength. 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 C R E N G H. C R E N G H. Okay, oh, I need that. Also down here. Same thing here. Um, perhaps we could just copy this, containerize that, and just replace it. Like so this is called mode. Like that. And then we can unwrap this. Right, right, ready to go. Yep. Yeah. And then uncontainerize it. And this stays like that. Strength stays, resonance stays. The only ones that really come in are center, input center, and poles, which is here. And I think I just did this wrong. I did do that wrong. Bugger. So I gotta redo all that now. Um, what are those? However, I can take some stuff with me. So it's less of a chore. I actually have to copy this first. And call this low pass. Start by getting rid of this. And I gotta copy these things over. So yeah, accidentally drop the input selector. Which is this. How is that not a selection? What happened? Was it never a selection? It was. What? I must have dropped it right at the beginning. So now I got to recreate it. Uh, so there's no real point in doing this because I got to recreate it anyway. Okay, so let's go flow control. Uh, one to many, and yeah, start on the top. In fact, can I just yes, yeah, okay. Um, no, I'll just do like this. I was just going to use the other one to reference the names, however, it would be more confusing when 
connecting later. Let's do the most clicky way. Oops. Input here. So we can drop this one. I believe this is called stages, right? Stages. So we'll come up here, so we can go over here. Right, so this is small stages. And that is outputs. Okay, so it's getting IO mod happening. System's still running, doesn't need to be. First we want input, and then we want well, what does it say? Input center stage stages. Input Enter and just here. Not sure why it won't let me. Okay. Input center and stage. Okay, let's get rid of this. This now is here. And we want to dial them out here. And that's okay. Okay, so one down. As far as I know, everything is in order. Using anchors and pylons is so clean. Up one. It just doesn't line up. It's not going to line up because they are not on the same level anyway. <clears throat> so go ahead and save that. This is part two, I imagine. I'm not going to name it part two. I'll just leave it as it is. Copy that over here. Or paste. I didn't want that. Um, can I delete these? No, I'm going to do them one by one. Copy and paste. I'll just call this one high pass. Get rid of these. Um, in fact, before I do anything else, I'm going to save and want to push these up in the corner, right? Now I can delete this one, copy this one, paste that one. This is high pass. And save all of these over. It's fine there, I suppose. Let's get in here and we'll change the mode to high pass. There. 
Resonance with one mode, strength, one stage, input choice, everything looks good. Okay. So I'm gonna end the stream here. Check me out on YouTube at JWP2, Twitch, JWP Stream, Facebook, JWP Meta, Patreon, JWP Patreon, and Discord, link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.